Hey guys, this is Eskimo Poodle, and we are back with us by Kingdoms of Amor, Reckoning on the PC. Last time, we made our way through the Mole Rain dungeon there, collecting the five scrolls and also uh, a work of uh, some other guy for uh, Ymir there. And now we're going to go ahead and go to the eastern part of the Forsaken Plains, so that way we can complete the several side quests that we got in there. And then eventually we'll make our way back to uh, the Cradle of Summer over there. Eh... I don't really care about these guys. I did kill um, a group of like three of these uh, bullgans spawned like right around there, and there was also some uh, Freeman assassins that I killed for their armbands right there. But other than that, not really a whole much happened off screen. A whole much, whole, not really a whole bunch happened off screen. Let's just uh, clobber these guys though if we can. Thank you. Yeah, you guys are big and ugly. There you go. Yeah, you guys aren't really all that tough. At least not compared to your other friends. Oh well. I don't know why you guys are guarding these paintings. I, I, I guess this is the loot that they stole from uh, travelers or whoever they found. Which reminds me, isn't the uh, moon camp around here somewhere? Ah, it's in a Tywilly Coast or... T. Willie, or I don't know how you pronounce it. They'll probably tell me how to pronounce it at some point. That's one good thing about everything in this game being voice acted is uh, eventually you figure out how to you figure out how to pronounce everything. Even if you don't like the pronunciation, you know how it is. That way you can just ignore it and uh, pronounce things the way you like to. Let's see here. Lots of eh, not really a whole lot. I don't know why they have a little separated section right here, but. Oh, unmarked grave. I was I thought I said unmarked cave. Yeah, they don't really have a whole lot of uh caves that you don't need for quests. I mean, if there's a cave or something like that, eventually you're probably gonna need it for a quest. Which is fine. I like it. It works. Ah, there it is. Yeah, you can keep your bleeding resistance. I'm not too worried about that. Why there's a random chest of drawers out here? I'm not entirely sure, but okay. If you say so. I wonder if there's a, a town in this part of the Forsaken Plains, too. There might be. It's big enough. It's, it's bigger than the other side. Which I didn't realize. So I'm assuming there's probably like a little settlement or something around here. Or it could just be a giant plane of, uh, well, killing stuff. Like these guys. Come on over, guys. You want to join the fun? No? Come on. I think the, uh, splinter effect actually kind of interrupts the combat a little bit sometimes. Because you want to get up close and personal and the splinters just uh, knock them down. I can't tell if that's a village over there. I don't think it is. It kind of looks like a village over there, but it might just be like some uh, ruins. And that is, uh, oh, I thought that was a giant rat or something sitting in the middle of the field right there. No, it's just a rock. But there is something up here. Not sure what, but there is something. Are you the only one that dropped the armband? No, you did too. No, you dropped armor. Oh well. All right, let's see. Why there's random crates out in the middle of the road? I'm not entirely sure, but okay. All right, what do we got here besides a quest? This looks like the beginnings of a town, but not really an actual town. I guess this really is just like a little settlement. Hey, it's a drill for oil, I guess. I don't think they have cars to use the oil for. And I guess, I guess they could use like the oil for like uh, lighting lamps and stuff like that, I guess. Sorry, chicken. Not really. I wonder how much money these guys have to spend replacing all these crates and pots and stuff that I break uh, every time I walk past them. Probably not too much. Probably only a, all the gold to their name or something like that. You know, 
Just the simple things. Alright, uh, Uruk. I'll leave you alone for the moment. Another painting of a uh, Rathir. And I guess this I guess this could just be like the uh, Forsaken Plains itself or one of the many plains areas around here. Uh, let's see, do I have it? Okay, it's not that way. There you go. Eh, nothing great, but good enough for the uh, components at least. Uh, let's see, what is over here? Oh, that's right, the dispelling chest. There you go. Yeah, good stuff in there. Nothing fabulous, but good enough. Alright, you. Alright, let's see what else we got over here. Uh, more plants, I'm not too worried about them. Uh, oh, there are more refugees from uh, Alvin. What is this supposed to be right here? Is that supposed to be like the foundation for like a house or something? I guess that. I guess that's what it could be. Oh, you're the, uh, the other spy, aren't you? I think so, actually. Yeah, you're the Tuatha spy. Alright, me and you got words. What do you want? Do you always approach strangers out in the wild? It's a bad habit, to be sure. Actually, I kind of always do approach strangers. It's just, you know, one of my many personality quirks. I don't care where we are. All I care about is finding some place to call home. So if I can keep their blasted battle, their glory, I just want a decent night's sleep. Me too. I also want I a good night's sleep. I who made nets for the coastal fishermen. My hands may be callous, but they're strong. Few of us had even spoken to each other before the Tuatha came. But tragedy has a way of throwing disparate souls together. Most of these little villages have a grand total of like 20 or 30 people in them. So I'm assuming that they're all tight-knit little communities and they actually know each other but uh, I, I guess that's not the place for uh, the the refugees here what kind of question is that you want to know about the Tawatha go back to Tawili gaze at the fires that never cease there's your education hey how come this guy has how come she has a 63% chance to uh for yes, and the other guy had like a 19% chance for yes. What was I supposed to do? The Tawatha will sow terror far beyond Tawili to the depths of Dalentoth if they can. I only did it for the money. But I will never do it again, you have my word. Spare me, please. Okay, sure. Bye. Okay, so if we manage to convince them to admit it, they just, uh, we don't have to kill them. Okay, easy enough. Let's see, Urk, what do you got to say for yourself? Lord Crass does not pay me to make conversation. I'm only here to protect him from the Freeman, so keep your distance. Don't worry, I'm after the Freeman too. They're not a very organized group. Well, that's what makes them unpredictable. As far as bandits go, the Freeman aren't the worst. But they know how to get the job done. You'll find bands of them here and there across the Forsaken Plain, just waiting to filch what they can from the unprepared. That's why I'm here. Don't worry, I can handle myself, and I can uh, handle uh, taking care of any that come near the camp for you, since you're probably not going to move from this spot ever. I am not a man of means, so I must serve those who can provide for me. Not one of the nobles I've protected has fallen at the hands of his enemies. One of them was crippled by his wife, but that's a whole other story entirely. Yeah, so you seem to have a pretty good uh, track record there. I don't speak ill of my masters. Nice try. I didn't want you to speak ill, I just wanted to know what you thought of the guy, that's all. It's hot, not de tear hot, but dry enough to choke a bar guest. If you must know, I hate the heat. My delicate skin can't handle the exposure. I'm joking with you, fool. I was about to say, you got a reasonably dark complexion, so you should be okay. Okay, he's not a very friendly, is he? Oh well. Alright, Crass, let's see, what, let's see what you're made of. Welcome. I know our little camp doesn't look like much, but... 
It's home. After all, what is home but a place where people love you? I am Lord Crass, heir to Dolve Arn, and soon to be mayor of New Culm. Out here? No. I have not seen any Tuatha on this long, treacherous road. However, there are plenty of other dangers to avoid. Trust me. Bandits prowl the high cliffs to the east, and there is talk of spies among the refugees. But I am not one to heed rumors and suspicions. The war took everything these poor folk possessed. Their farms, their families, their future. Now they search for hope in a hopeless land. At Dolve Arn, I was born into wealth, into prestige, and I took it for granted. That is why I've devoted myself to raising these good people up. Well, see, now you're a good man. You, you realize that you had a better station than these guys, and you decided to help them out, even though you could have stayed in a Dolve Arn, which I think is actually still intact, I do believe. So, I like you. You're a good guy. My cousin Clyeth Arn abandoned Dolve Arn for a life of waste and frivolity in Rathir. When the war began, I was forced to hand everything over to the Alfar army, except Ehrlich here. I will return one day. It is my birthright. It is no place for these people. I've seen many sorrowful sights in my travels abroad, and nothing could have prepared me for the suffering I've witnessed here. If what they say is true, then the Forsaken Plain is truly cursed. Only the Fae could have spoiled a place so utterly. To them, death is just a new beginning. Yeah, they are kind of weird about those kind of things, aren't they? I, I like Forsaken Plain so far. I like, at least aesthetically, it's a nice looking area. Even though that rock kind of looks like it's looking at me. That, that rock right there, uh, the, the middle part, kind of looks like a face, like a like two eyes and a mouth and then he's got like a shield or two shields or something but anyways ah I'm glad you asked the village of Colm was a place of peace of prosperity now it is little more than ashes and bones but by burning our homes the Tuatha have kindled in us a fire for survival we will build a new Colm all I need is the gold to support this bold undertaking Possibly by retrieving the treasures of Colm. Care to help? Sure, why not? And speaking of which, why don't the refugees that are parked outside of Emer come over here to uh, to this little settlement? That way they can all work together and, you know, make it bigger and better. And then they wouldn't have to be uh, begging for help from Emer. And Emer could even just, like, send supplies over to help here instead of just uh, having the hosts camped outside on the front doorstep. There are many valuables... But only a chosen few will fetch the kind of gold we need to begin construction. A painting, an urn, a box, and some jewelry. I've seen plenty of paintings around, that's for sure. A nobler soul I've never met. Now, here is what I intend to do. Because like all good leaders, I have a plan. My plan involves the treasures of calm. The people of this good village were not mere farmers, but members of the highest strata. Their collection of valuables was truly second to none. To safeguard those possessions, and because many proved cumbersome on this long journey, they hid them. I want you to bring them to me. Sadly, we will need to sell them. Okay, are you, you know, I could just loan you some money. I got plenty of cash on, on hand, so that'd be one way of helping you guys out. The items are in Bitter Cove, east of here near the hills. It was deserted when we spent the night there, but I fear it's been occupied since then. Okay. Goodbye. Should be easy enough to get to. Let's see. We got a lot of quests in this little eastern area here. I like it. See, nobody else needs to be talked to, right? All right I already talked to you. I think we've talked to everybody of importance here. So, let's continue on our merry little way. And this guy's got a dresser for whatever reason. Okay, I guess he needs somewhere to put his skivvies. Oh, I see a shrine. And that's going to take us into... Oh, taller rain, okay. Uh, what are these guys right here? Boggarts. Nothing great, but we could probably just go check them out eventually. Okay, let's go find our way over to something here because we got a lot of stuff to do here 
It feeds wisdom, very nice, I like it. Eh, I don't think we really need to go down that path yet. I mean, we could, but there's really no reason to. Let's see, uh, which side... Uh, let's see, that is a troll. A lot of trolls, actually. Um, you know, let's explore the leftist side of the map first, and then we'll head over to the right side and deal with the uh, trolls and whatnot. Yeah, I'll worry about that chest and that troll a little later. For now, let's go see if we can't find... Um, I think there's a... Uh, I think there's a writing here, like the guy from the cave that we were at last episode. And I know there are other traitors around here, too, somewhere. I just gotta find them. Not really a lot going on in this middle area, unless something's gonna pop up and scare the crap out of me. Which they like to do. Oh, like that guy. Yeah, you're not too bad. Where's all your buddies there, buddy? Come on over this way. There you go. There we go. Ah, uh, no furs for me? Okay, I see a... Ah, it's over there. Ooh, lots of brownies, too. They got a whole... They got the whole gamut of enemies around here, don't they? They got every enemy you can think of. Trolls, brownies, bar guests. Uh, probably kobolds are hanging around somewhere. Uh, this guy. It's a shame that these guys resist the ice. I mean, it still does a decent chunk of damage, but... Nowhere near as much as the lightning. Is there something chasing me? No. The camera angle made me think there was something uh, on my trail there. I, I don't know why, but they like to put the uh, the regents, the uh, flowers, uh, in groups of two around here for whatever reason. And what are these? Just uh, random villagers, I guess. Let's see. Not a whole lot going on up here either, is there? Yeah, apparently the left side is more or less abandoned, it seems like. And I don't think we ever got a quest for uh, this cave right here. Uh, oops, there's a labyrinth right there. We never got a quest for this cave over here. So we might just go ahead and explore it at some point. And then we don't have a quest for this area yet either, Shining Labyrinth. So we might just go explore that too. Ah, there's another troll. All right, let's uh, get this place on our fast travel. Ah, there he is. He's right there. Okay, you can aim for the guy. That'd be great. There you go. Ooh, you got a lot of health there, don't, don't you, bud? Yeah, you got a ton of health. You know, let's apocalypse this guy. See how well he takes it. He's actually taking it pretty. Ooh, he, yeah, he's taking it pretty well in general, actually. These guys are not very. Uh, not very magic friendly. They do not like magic at all. Hence, they don't take a lot of damage from it, like at all. Okay, let's see. Actually, I'm thinking these caves might just have the uh, various writings or whatever that we need. And your club is way up in the air there. Oh, I, I thought I could target it and search it for a minute. No, I don't want your shadow prism. You can have your shadow prism. Oh, there's a quest right there. And archers. Uh, Bargus, I don't really care about you guys. You guys can just uh, chill over there by yourselves. This guy, on the other hand... Let's try it with this. Yeah, 
had the, uh, the little blizzard tornado was working out a little well, but yeah, those guys just really physical attacks are the only way to go, it seems like. I want to start using swords again, but now that I got the uh, chakrams with plus two skills, I'm not sure if I should give up the uh, staffs or or what. So I really want to use some of the long swords again for a little bit. Ah, ah, great. There's, oh, there's, I was about to say, I thought you guys were the uh, trolls for a minute there. Hey, you guys don't do any damage at all, really. Kind of weak, actually. Come on. Oh, I missed it. All right, try it again, try it again, try it again. Okay, that didn't work out so well. Is that, am I not able to, like, counter this guy or block his attacks? Yeah, I don't think I can block his attacks for whatever reason. Huh, that's very strange. But luckily, he's pathetically weak, so I'm not too worried about it. There you go. They do give a nice chunk of cash, though, so I like that. Seriously, I'm getting tons of money here. Ah, and another great view of the coast, which we're probably never going to visit that dang island out there. I want to go out there, but... Uh, yeah, I don't think we will. Oh well. Unless there's a boat that goes out there, which would be awesome. Or there's a way to swim out there, which uh, I don't think there is. Ah, hello, bandits. Uh, yeah, I'm not too worried about you guys. So let's just, uh... Good night. I guess if these are, like, graves, and they're trying to, uh... Desecrate and try to get like their rings and stuff off the dead corpses or whatever. Cause that's that's kind of what these look like. They look like uh, tombstones or a little bit. So that's, that, that's my best guess here. It might be wrong. It might be right. I don't know. Let's see where is ah? Must be no. There's something I could search here. I just don't know where it is. Maybe it's up here. What else we got around it? What is this area? Orator's Tomb. Okay, this is kind of a bigger little area than I thought, actually. I thought it was a little small area, but I guess not. Ah, hello, guys. Uh, there you go. Gotcha. Don't you dare run up to me and talk to me. I hate it when you guys do that. Nope, go away. I don't mind talking to you, but... Let me talk to you on my own terms there, lady. I mean, some men like aggressive women, but, uh, not me. Well, at least not in the game, at least. I'm just trying to ooh, find these guys. Hello. Ooh, they're all down there, though. Uh, you know what? It's worth the armbands. Oh, or he can just fight you. That works, too. Or you. Okay. I didn't even see you. They like to sneak up on you like that. Come on, take a little more dot. No, you got a little more health than that. I was hoping the uh, damage over time would finish him off, but not quite. See, I want to fight those guys, but first, if I can... If I can get to the the cave and get that a fast travel point, so I don't have to run all the way back up here, that'd be nice. That's not that far, actually. I thought it was I thought it was further down there. Never mind. Come here, fellas. Me and you. Let's go. Where you at? You are way down there. Yeah, do I really care? Not really. You guys aren't very uh, attentive today. Normally, you guys would see me coming from, like, a week away. But, uh, not today, I suppose. These guys are giving me lots of hard bands, so I like that. Alright, nothing else down here. Except for... No, that's somewhere else. Okay, we'll worry about those uh, pile of rocks. Later. Is she still following me? 
Jeez, lady, give it up already. She's like those mobs that run after me and try to try to aggro me from halfway across the screen. I'll talk to you when I'm ready, lady. Go away. If I can't get my treasures in peace, I'll be irate. Death notice. I Ina Saworth. Uh, isn't this person's name something Saworth? Oh, Idwa. Okay. I I thought it was uh, the same person there for a minute. I guess not, though. Uh, okay, I guess we have no choice but to talk to this damn crazy broad. What do you want? Oh, you're a welcome sight. A minute more and I'd be joining our friends on the hill here. Thanks for the assistance. I just figured everyone out here in the Forsaken Plain was either a refugee or one of the freemen. Looks like I was wrong. You appear to have some very dark, dark lipstick there. Not, nothing wrong with that, it's just very dark. Not all of us are from the village of Colm. We come from all along the Tuili coast. Farmers and merchants, veterans and scholars. The Tuatha have put our possessions to the flame, but we will never accept defeat. Not so long as leaders like Lord Crass and Elrod Edmund act as our standard bearers. I'm a refugee, like the others in the tents. It's a desperate place. People will do anything to see the next morning. Steal, kill, you name it. You've got to watch your step in the Forsaken Plain, for every cave holds a bandit. Every refugee might be a cheat out to swindle us all. The Freemen are especially fierce, for they're fighting not for the take, but for their very survival. Not so different than you or I, they are. Yeah, except they don't mind killing to get what they want, whereas you, you're just trying to squeak out a living here. I don't mind it as much as most, but I was raised into tears, so I can handle the heat. Can't stand the bandits, though. It's impossible to get a decent night's sleep. Actually, I'm a bit ashamed to say. I'm searching for a grave, but not just any grave. The last resting place of Azo Raymond, richest of the Tuili merchants. They say he died early in the March West, claimed by the Forsaken Plain. Rumor has it he's buried with the famous rings of Azo. I could live a year on those. Okay, so I gotta... Okay, as long as you're not interfering with my other quest, I don't really mind too much. I'm glad to hear it. There's plenty of ground to cover between here and Rathia to the north. And another pair of eyes will be a huge advantage. Most of the graves are along the refugee route. Usually surrounded by crude markings or gestures left by loved ones. It's a pity they couldn't do more. I heard Azo profited greatly from the war in the east, but that he was forced from his home when the Tuatha plundered Erethel. He moved west with the refugees. But the Forsaken Plain is no place for fat, wealthy merchants. They say he died quickly, with not a soul to mourn him. Okay, I'm sure you don't know exactly where his grave is, but do you have a general idea? If I knew, I wouldn't be hiking all over this hill, reading names on worn gravestones. My luck, it's on the other side of the Forsaken Plain. Okay. Bye. So I gotta go find it. Okay, uh, let's see. Let's uh, pursue it and see where it is. Oh, we've... right there? Oh, no, we gotta search the graves. Okay. Uh, well, while we're here, might as well... What was in the... Oh, that was just the uh, letter there. Alright, might as well search it while we're here. But let's go ahead and uh, get this cave as a fast travel point. So I don't think we're going to get quests for these caves. These are just the ones for the uh, scrolls or whatever, I think. So I'll probably just uh, dash in these at some point to find those uh, writings or whatever. Alright, Oriet, uh, Lianche. Okay, you're fast. I like you. Ooh, you almost dodged the, uh, the meteor there. Not quite, though. Put up a good fight, barely. Better than some of the other early inches I fought, that's for sure. Those trees, though, those, uh, or those trees, those are the real bastards. Right, I think I can fast travel here now because I just discovered it. I don't think I gotta walk straight to the door. But I like to walk to the door just to make sure. Alright, perfect. 
Now, is there any place I could jump down to that grave, or do I have to... Oh, I can just walk down. Okay, that works. Watch, it's going to be this grave right here. That'd be hilarious. That would be pretty funny, actually. All she had to do was walk a few feet to the north. Eh, I didn't, I, was, I didn't think so. I was hoping, but I didn't really think so. Okay, so we still got a few more quests to check out here. So, oh, and there's also that, um, that right there. All right, there's uh, another grave. Um, all right, I'll tell you what. We're going to go ahead and uh, stop the episode here. And the next episode, we're going to go ahead and continue on through the uh, through the side of the plains here, making our way to the other grave sites and see if we can't uh, find out where this guy's grave is or just uh, accept a few more quests or, you know, just, just putzing around pretty much. So, guys, thanks for watching. And I will see you guys next time. Have a good night. If I can find out what's in these uh, little... Oh, they're down there. Okay, yeah, so you guys, I'll see you later.